New details this morning about the Zarnayev brothers and their alleged plot. Don Daler is in Boston. Don, good morning. Good morning. As residents here on Boylston Street start to resume their daily lives, investigators continue to piece together elements of the bomb plot, not only from comments made by the sole surviving suspect, but also evidence that they're finding at numerous sites. Investigators now believe Johar and Tamerlan Sarnayev triggered the twin explosions using a remote control typically used for toy cars. Remnants of the device were found at the scene. Its relative sophistication raises the question of whether Tamerlan simply got bomb-making tips online or had personal guidance during his six-month trip to Russia last year. The Russian connection was discussed during a house briefing Wednesday. We're attempting to get more information to see whether or not he was radicalized in Russia. Authorities suspect the two used black powder from fireworks to make the bombs. Wednesday, police hauled away two clothing donation bins in Watertown, where a stash of fireworks were found. They also searched a nearby landfill for more evidence. Investigators believe that the unemployed Tamerlan sold drugs, including marijuana, to help finance the plot. As to whether the two were also targeting New York, Johar told interrogators they planned something much less sinister. The information that we received said something about a party or having a party. But the two never made it beyond Watertown. <laughs> During that shootout with police last week, sources say the men only had one gun with them, a 9mm Ruger semi-automatic pistol. But it turns out Johar, the lone surviving suspect, was unarmed when he was found hiding in a boat. Police previously said they had engaged in a one-hour firefight with the 19-year-old. Wednesday afternoon, Boston said goodbye to one of its own. Thousands attended a memorial service for 26-year-old Sean Collier, the MIT police officer who authorities say was ambushed by the suspects in a failed attempt to steal his gun. He was born to be a police officer, and he lived out his dreams. We know that we'll see him again. And I'll have that big grin and a hug for all of us. Officer Sean Collier, we love you. And yesterday, Russian President Vladimir Putin said that the Boston bombings are a prime example of why the U.S. and Russia need more unity when it comes to fighting terrorism. Charlie, Nora. Don, thank you.